Hello, beautifuls. Welcome, Coffee with Lily. Whew. I was listening to a podcast today, and this made me start thinking about a lot, really, a lot about my um, my life's trajectory, the path that I've been on through, um, what, what I was driven to achieve, what my goals are, how I wanted to be seen in relationships. It kind of just went down this like rabbit hole. Um, but I wanted to chat a little bit today about like the heart centered purity of the way that we make decisions, the way that we live our life, the people that we surround ourselves with. And on the other side of that coin, living from fear. Dude, tell me that fear, try to convince me that fear is not pervasive everywhere. I think it's everywhere in marketing, obviously in politics, in the world. Um, I even think that like the way that, you know, when I, when I was growing up, it was a lot about, it was this whole like goal of this process that was already set out for me, which was go to school, get a good job, be happy, get married, have kids, be happy. It was, um, yeah, it was like a life that was already and already set out for me in a way. And, you know, there are parts of me that understand why that was the case, right? Like, I do think that as much as my caregivers could, they wanted to set up a life for me that they thought, there's the thing, that they thought was going to be good for me. But what that ended up, you know, because I'm like, and most people are probably if you're watching this or if you're into like to self-development or personal development from like a, um, a growth and heart perspective, um, you know, like I'm a very empathic person. Like I'm, I'm at nature, very intuitive. Um, and what that ended up turning into was a lot of fear based decisions in my life. Um, and I think, you know, a lot of that had to do with, um, I don't know. I think, I think that when we're making decisions from fear, it feels scary in our bodies. Like it feels like unrest for me. It feels like a lot of thoughts. It feels like a lot of excuses in a way. Like it feels like, like, Honestly, it feels sometimes like not so much anymore, but I can remember the feeling of it almost feels like two parts of me are were talking. The part that really wants a soul driven life, the really the part that wants limitless love, that wants um, a conscious life, like conscious people in her life. But then the other part, which is where I feel like most of us live, which is our, our limiting patterns, our limiting beliefs, our coping mechanisms, our emotional tr trauma, our emotional wounds. And we can rationalize our fear, you know, and depending on where you are in your self-development journey, like this may be, honestly, this may not be the right time and the right conversation for you right now. And that's okay. 
Um, but I don't know if you're having like, if you're having trouble having like making a decision, it might be interesting to, to, to look at what's, what part of me is trying to decide here. And what, from what I've learned about me and about what I do with my clients is that the fear-based decisions really and truly are not present day decisions. And what I mean by that is that most of the time, our unhealed emotional wounds from our past, from our past relationships, family and romantic and otherwise are making decisions from fear. And I don't have a specific instance right now to, um, to chat about, uh, cause I feel like that may help, but nothing's coming up, um, right now, but I just want to like, maybe shed some awareness on is it coming from heart or is it coming from fear? And that may be too simplistic right now. I don't know. But for me right now, that is what I needed to hear. So I hope it was for you too. I love y'all. Bye.